Well, Yorkshire did eventually produce a post-war fast bowler for England. In 52, along came Fred Truman, never short of a word or a Yorker or bouncer. The first bowler to reach 300 test wickets, the most colourful cricketer in the world for some years. Did you ever really think you were going to do this 300 business? No, not really, and uh, I was getting a bit worried even when I was in this match, you know, nothing's going to be happening, and all of a sudden it came with a rush, you know. It took me by surprise. Do you think anyone else will ever do it? I don't know. Uh, there's one thing, if I do, I'll be tired when they're finished. You know? <laughs> his action was theoretically perfect, as was his outswinger. His stamina was prodigious, his patriotism manifest, his self-confidence of spectacular proportion. He helped England regain cricket pride after the war, and he made kids in the mining villages as well as the home counties want to bowl fast, faster, fastest. Freddie was a tremendous bowler, and he was able to swing the ball as well as bowl a few bouncers, and he got more wickets, I suppose, by the surprise element of his deliveries, because you never know what he was going to do. He'd bowl you a full toss at the head, he'd bowl you a bouncer, and then he'd bowl you the magnificent delivery, which you weren't prepared for, and of course that's where he got his wickets. taking 2,304 wickets for Yorkshire and England, the finest fast bowler Yorkshire have ever had. He was the first cricketer to take 300 wickets in test cricket. That's it, he's out! He was one of the few fast bowlers, and I've got genuinely quick, who could bowl leg and middle and make the ball swing out. Not many could do that. He could turn the batsman round. Um, there have been very, very few. Lindwall was another. There are very, very few who could do what Truman did his best. Just being a fast bowler, a lot of his, uh, a lot of his runs went behind the wicket, off edges, through the slips, or between third slip, second slip and gully, and down to fine leg, you know. And he, he, so the wickets weren't forthcoming. I can remember one of his famous, you know, he says he'd, he'd turn around and glare at the batsman and look down at him and to say, you're more edges than a broken piss pot. <laughs> to Harvey, and he's caught at cover point by Dexter. Truman to O'Neill. O'Neill caught. Truman to Sips. And he's clean bowled. He's clean bowled. Rather a desperate stroke, if not for me. Truman to Benno. And he's clean bowled him. Benno bowled for North for the second time in the match. By Truman. Truman now to Mackay. And he's caught the high. Caught behind the wicket. Edging and 
Chowdhury's slip catch low down is a gem. Benno edges and is superbly caught by Cowdery at first slip. Truman bowls and Mackenzie is bowled without score. Australia 9 for 228. Seven. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Dexter got the answer. And Truman. <laughs> well, we're all very... Fred Truman, certainly one of the greatest. It's interesting these days with uh, so many tests being played to compare Truman's record with the modern day fast bowlers. And he was very, very good. His strike rate, apart from his wickets, sets him up as a great bowler.